Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Beloved, it's your mystic journey divine coming at you with another inspirational reading on this beautiful Wednesday evening. Yes, I hope you had a marvelous day. Yes, now that you're here, in light of Wednesday, I'm a little late, but I had a lot to do this morning, personal stuff. <laughs> in light of Wednesday, we are doing water signs. Yes, our beautiful Scorpios, Pisces, and Cancers. Yes, we're going to start with Scorpio. Yes, our strong, resilient, powerful go-getters, our Scorpios. How you doing today, Scorpio? Are you having a marvelous Wednesday? Yes. So, let's go directly to the cards. As we have wasted enough time today <laughs> and I want to get all three in it's often and difficult to upload videos and I use more than one device but where I live the Wi-Fi the access to towers is not great so let's see what spirit has to say to our scorpions yes spirit we ask you to come in Okay, before I finish, it flew out. Oh, we've got Ten of Wands, Scorpio. What have you been up to? Are you in a creative mood? Are you bossing up? Male or female? Tarot has no gender. It only reads energy. So if you're in your boss energy, you could be a woman or a man. Or see yourself as other. <laughs> All are welcome to here on my channel without judgment. Yes. I see major accomplishments, Scorpio. You decide to re be responsible. Take charge of your life and your finances and your family. Maybe the season of harvest. Harvest. Holidays and coming together. Have you feeling energetic? Is there a task, a new project, an old project, a new venture that you want to complete? Something that was on your bucket list from, since the beginning of the year that you are now realizing it's time to get my feet wet, to get up. I party enough this summer. <laughs> I ran the streets and now let's get grounded. Let's focus on our finances. We spent a little bit too much. We spiritually, we indulged. It's okay to have fun, but now maybe you need to replenish your resources, pay off those bills, save for a rainy day. Maybe you wanna embark on a new career, take a new trip, a new journey. Maybe you're soul searching a way that you can release yourself from lack, poverty, burdens, stress. And you're willing to put in the hard work because Scorpios aren't afraid of a hard work of hard work. They tend to take those jobs, police officers, construction workers, security, hard labor, feminines, banking, financial districts, bosses, whatever the career is, they tend to be in a, or like to be in a power position, Scorpios. Yes. My son is a Scorpio. <laughs> He's thus going to be a magnificent king. Responsibility is on top of their list. When things aren't going well, they go within. What can I do to change the direction I'm heading? Oh, nice card that jumped out. Six of Wands, Scorpio. Yes transitioning, moving on, changes, 
Oh, you've released something. You've released something. Whether it was a person, place, thing, or your old self. You decide to embark on a new journey, a rite of passage, figure out what your purpose is in life, your destiny. What are you here for? There's more, surely more your life is about than what it currently is. What, what do I really want to do? It will make me the happiest and put me in a better place in life, in love in relationships. Yes. Yes, Scorpio, I feel you. Taking charge of things as you do. But Spirit says a transition is definitely on the menu. You need a change of, okay. This card, I just did a, <laughs> the Aquarius reading, and now this is the Scorpio reading. And both times, the High Priestess has showed up. I've got a lot of High Priestesses on my channel. A lot of boss bitches. Yes, a lot of master manifestors. Your High Priestess, Divine Femme, Goddess, a queen. You're elevating, ascending even. You're awakened. Something has been shaken up in your life. It's put you in a place of necessary change. You're now intuitive. You're conscious. You were thinking being, and your thinking is elevated. You've been upgraded, or you are, and you feel it. You feel the transition, the metamorphosis of self from the old into the new. And Spirit wants you to enjoy the ride, baby. You are ready. You are ready to take this new step, this new birthright, this new place where you are in control, sitting on top, delegating your kingdom, your legacy. Yes. And do we have the Page of Cups? New beginnings, new beginnings. Happiness, surprise. There's a surprise coming your way because you're still the dreamer. That childlike energy that you used to dream of a life that you'd once have, if you could have everything you wanted your way, you didn't give up the dream. You didn't give up the belief that you deserved to have it all in those dreams and those beliefs that you stuck with and those intuitive messages about what was to come maybe you've been dreaming lately maybe you've seen your future maybe you had a reading and someone let you know what your future is to be and it opened up memories of what you once knew. Confirmation, excuse me. <laughs> Spirit saying, there's a happy surprise on this way to meet you. Something you wish for, something you've always wanted, something you refuse to let go of having one day. And it may have taken a long time to come. You may have thought it would never arrive, even though you put in all the work. And you've stayed positive and you've elevated in your light. 
You have a good soul, a good spirit. You may be a light worker, a teacher, a healer, a humanitarian, a writer, a reader. Verse says, because you never stop dreaming and believing, it's time to receive that dream come true. Are you ready for a Scorpio? Are you ready? Say yes. Claim it and celebrate in advance to bring it in. Give gratitude and offering to your altar. I know you have an altar. Give offerings. Go to the water, give offerings. Fruits, sweet fruits, cinnamon, ginger, flowers, and not artificial, fresh petals. If you can't find flowers wherever you are this time of season, petals, leaves, leaves in multiples. And you can pick leaves. Some trees now turn to fall have beautiful leaves of beautiful colors. Give them to the rivers, to the ocean, to the lakes, to the sea. Whoever you honor, your deities, your risha, your gods, your fairies, your spirit gods. Give offerings, give thanks, give gratitude. In stillness, give prayer. Yes, Scorpio. Yes. Cars are flying out from Scorpio. I'm not even getting eight of cups. Eight of cups. Spirit is saying. During your transitioning period, you went within seclusion, solitude. You've been alone for some time, working on you. It was necessary to get away from energies that weren't supportive, that didn't fulfill your needs, your desires, that who couldn't come with you on your new journey of elevation and spiritual ascension. But we're saying, enough. It's time to step back out of your cocoon. It's time to burst free and fly again, Scorpio. High Priestess. It's time to put on your best dress and those sexy shoes. Do your hair up. Feel pretty and beautiful on the outside as you are within. Take your self-confidence and wear it like a cloak. Go and have fun. Go out and have fun. Be playful. This is the time for you to dream in reality. If an invite comes in, say yes. That may be the happy surprise. We'll be getting an invite from a friend. They want to be more than friends. Say yes. Escape the illusion of your mind that says, not yet. Or is it time? Or am I ready? Say yes. You are ready. It is time to begin a new journey, a new life, a new way of being. To show your smile and shine on the universe to share your love and your positivity with others to reconnect there are supportive beings like-minded individuals out there searching for you but they won't come to your door and bust in <laughs> set yourself free and believe yes yes Go have fun, Scorpio. Let your hair down. Okay. We have four cards that fell out together, and I'm going to take them because they are amazing. 
we have the Knight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the, all these cups. And what do cups represent? Manners of the heart. Yes, manners of the heart. Love, connections. We have the Knight of Cups. Romantic, imaginative, idealistic, sensitive. You may be a masculine in this energy. Or you may be... Well, we know we already have the High Priestess card out here. So you could be a masculine in your High Priestess energy. Masculine in your feminine energy. Same-sex relationship. Or you may be a feminine High Priestess. You have a Knight of Cups. A lot of comments. That may be your happy surprise. You may be getting a romantic partner. Yes, a twin flame. He is romantic. He is going to be sensitive to your needs. He's emotionally stable. And he is imaginative, which means he is. Full of ideas, adventurous. Maybe you're the shy type. He's about to show you your other side. <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> yes, your ideal partner. Because we know with Three of Cups representing connections, collaboration, teamwork. Spirit also wants you to seek education, knowledge, and learning about your craft, whatever your craft may be, your purpose. Is it to heal? Is it to read? Is it to publicly speak? Is it to sing your song? Is it about, is it to, hmm, poetry, I'm hearing poetry at a mic, open mic night. Your purpose is to speak. Peter wants you to, maybe in seclusion, one of your issues was you didn't know what your next step was. Wasn't sure about what your purpose was. Tired of trying new things for them only to be failing for you to restart something new because you're trying so many things. Spirit says try them all. See what fits best for you. Try them all. Have fun. Exploring. Until you find what works best for you. Your best fit is your purpose. Seek out knowledge and education whether it be attending a seminar, an online class, seeking out a mentor, someone that has already done what you're interested in doing, and they do it well. Maybe this new partner coming in will be a business partner. Maybe they are already interested in the same things you are, and they're sent to help guide you directly in to success. However it resonates, you take it. But we also have the seven of cups. We have new possibilities. We have new possibilities. But Spirit is saying it's time. Meditate on it. Journal about it. Journal about it. <laughs> Read it back and speak it out loud. Ask your spirit guides for clarification. And confirmation, am I on the right path? Or should I try a new direction? But it's time to make a decision. Once you've dipped your hand in a lot of buckets, which you, it seems you have, or you have been, <laughs> Spirit is saying, yes, try them all and have fun. But eventually you must make a decision and begin your purpose. The work is waiting for you to show up. 
waiting for you to take your rightful place. We have Six of Swords, Rite of Passage. You're right there. You're right there. You just need to cross over into it, to fall into it, to accept it, to wear it, to believe it's for you. You're a high priestess. No need for confusion. You already know you're intuitive. You know what you know. Let go and get out of your mind. And stop questioning and doubting yourself and your abilities. You are a master manifester. Choose. Make a decision. No matter what you choose, you're going to be successful at. Because you can do nothing but all things. With God our Father in hand. So pick. Decide. Stand and move. It's your rightful place. Because we have the Four of Cups. You don't want to miss an opportunity. I understand. And that may cause you. No, Spirit says that is not. No. Okay. Spirit is saying that if you don't decide to decide, if you don't make a choice to move into, if you don't pick what you know you should be doing and what you are good at and you let fear and doubt keep you stuck in your mind in a state of stagnation and fear that an opportunity could pass you by and you won't even see it you don't want to be you don't want to regret you don't want to regret time passing you by. It's time to move. It's time to believe in who you are. It's time to understand that you are not alone. Whatever decision you make, you have the backing of spirit. You are a chosen one. You are favored by God. But you have to choose. You have to choose to either let go and move on so that your Knight of Cups can usher in and you can receive your pentacles and all these cups of love and abundance that are on the table. And you can choose to stay still and wallow and rethink and reevaluate and reevaluate and re while opportunities and time moves on. It's time, Scorpio. Decide where you want what you want. Where you want it. Do you want to move? Where do you want to move? You want to start your career? What career? You want love or you don't want love? <laughs> you want to cross the stage? Are you too afraid to speak out loud and be judged by others? Spirit is asking you to decide who are you, beloved, at the end of the day. Even when things don't go your way, who are you? Surely you know you're a child of God, a chosen one, a star seed, an earth angel, a mermaid, a goddess, a queen. Take your rightful place on the throne. And don't take no for an answer. Have a 
confirmation, have it your way and no other way. Call in your love, call in your cups, call in your pentacles, call in your money, call in your wealth, call in your hope, call in your peace. Call it in. To stand on it and reclaim your rightful place. Okay, Scorpios, we're going to pull from Soul's Journey deck. Souls, what is your soul's journey? What does spirit have to say about your soul's journey? You may be confused. This may have you stuck. You may not know where to go. You know what I'm also getting? You may have recently come out of a relationship. You may still be in a relationship and you're not sure if you want to stay there. Decision you may have to make is whether to stay or to go. Your heart may be already gone. Or your soul may be already gone. Or your mind may be already gone. But your heart is stuck. If that's the case, we're just saying it's time to walk away and don't look back. For even if you're, if any part of you is missing, you're already gone. You're not giving 100% because you're no longer believing in connection. If that's the case, where it says it's time to decide and stand on it. And if you decide to stay, the spirit says decide to stay, decide to stay and put in the hard work to fix it. But either way, it's time to make a decision. The in and out mindset is holding you back from moving on to possibly your real soulmate. A real twin flame journey that could light your soul on fire. That could be the happy surprise. Maybe you're dreaming of being in another relationship. Somewhere where you'll be treated better. Respected. And if that's the case, then you need to make that manifestation come true. By releasing the old and stepping into the new. I just had to add that. It came to me. That that could be. Or maybe you've already walked away and you're separated and you're having nostalgia during this holiday season about whether or not you want this to reconnect. Even still, they're saying, make a decision. We don't know what you want. So we don't know how to manifest for you on your behalf because you're undecided. You're not sure, so we're not sure. So it's time to be sure. So that your spirit guides can start working in your favor. New love, old no love. New love, old love. Okay, spirit. Soul's journey for my scorpions. Soul's journey. Soul's journey. Can we get three cards for our Scorpios? Soul's journey, spirit. Soul journey for my Scorpios. Oh. Scorpios always get multiple cards that jump out. And I'm going to take them all. Because they all came out together. We have grief. Freedom. Fear in reverse. Acceptance. Denial. And pride. Hmm. Scorpio. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Now I know why I was called to say that in the last. You did lose someone recently. And the loss of that relationship, connection, caused you massive grief. 
and you went into seclusion to heal and to reevaluate what went wrong and why. I possess the power and the free and the free will to create my own happiness. Freedom. You are free. Single. Able to choose any direction you'd like. You possibly already walked away or were left. We take it either way. But either way, it caused you to be free. You are now free. What is better than free? There's peace and freedom, harmony and freedom. You're free. You have the power now to designate, control, manifest your own happiness. And with the Knight of Cups, the High Priestess card, and the Six of Wands transitioning right of passage, we have the Page of Cups, a happy surprise. Maybe you won't be single for long. <laughs> New love on that coming, all these cups, new connections, a new partnership, collaboration, supportive loving. We have fear in reverse. You're not afraid. And no longer afraid of the unknown. You're willing to walk into the darkness. Because you don't fear it. You know, on the other end of that is life and light. Because the only way over is through. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change because you realize you can't change what others want to do, what others choose to do. You can't change the past. What's behind you is behind you and it's gone and withered away. And you've accepted that. Spirit so saying you've accepted you're not afraid, you're free. Now it's time to drop the grief. You're not a victim. It didn't happen to you, it happened for you. To make your life better, sweeter, more abundant. To receive reciprocity and equality in your relationships. I acknowledge my fear, but I place it with the insight of awareness. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Don't, don't be, and that is on the denial card. Don't be in denial about your true emotions. If you're afraid, be afraid. The fear card in reverse, along with the denial card. So the truth is, it's not that you're not afraid, you are. You are afraid. And it's okay. Spirit said it's okay to be afraid of loving. It's a human response to the unknown approaching. And you're human. We all are. And if it's in this skin, we feel human emotions in our human flesh. And it's okay to be afraid of the unknown. Don't let it hold you hostage. Don't let it debilitate you. Don't let it keep you prison in your own mind. Feel it. Sit with it. Speak to it. Acknowledge it and release it. For fear is just an illusion of that which we cannot see. But we're not meant to see everything before it comes. And Scorpio is like, my controls freaks. Normally don't like last minute surprises. 
that like to know where life is headed. They like to be in control and organized and OCD. But Spirit says, not this time. Spirit, God knows what's best for you. Even when you think you do, it may not be so. And maybe all this being manifested may look different than how you expect it to show up. And you may doubt it when it comes. And even think of rejecting it, but Spirit says, no, I sent it. It is for you. Take a minute. Feel it. Experience it. Listen to it. And then make, decide whether or not it's for you. But I'm sending it. It's divine timing. You asked for change. You manifested it. I heard you. Pride. Don't let your pride stand in the way. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. You're not alone in the world, Scorpio. It's a billion other people. <laughs> Learn to give space and share space and allow others in, others' opinions. I didn't say take them as your destiny, but listen, share. Share, share, share. Share your heart, Scorpio. Share your truth. Share your pain. Share your fears with this new partner, this new collaboration, this new Knight of Cups. You dreamt about it when you were young and it's about to come, but now you're older and set in your way. Don't let your pride get in the way. Don't let your business of past rejection and I did this alone so Let them in. Be vulnerable, sweetie. Be vulnerable to your night. Become an empress. Be soft. Be gentle. Be kind. I know you're the high priestess and you can boss up, but let him sit in his rightful place as your king. and share your space. It'll be worth it in the end. It'll be worth it in the end. Oh my God. Let me see. We have, what is, which deck is this? Oh my God. I should not have. Okay, that last deck um, was Soldier. Okay, this one is Messages from Your Fairies and Spirit Guides. Scorpio, I'm getting in deep. I'm almost forgetting that this is <laughs> me. I could talk to Scorpios all night. Scorpio was heavy in my birth chart. I resonate. I connect with your energy, Scorpio. Yes. Yes, we're bossy, often, a little egotistical, set in our ways, not easily bend, but not willing to bend often, questioning everything that comes in the midst of our heart. Yeah, but Spirit is saying, divine femme. There's a need for you to release the need to be in control in order to receive collaboration to collaborating together equally. You can always be in charge. Okay, so can we three cards for messages from the fairies, from the spirit guides, 
Yes, for my Scorpio, magical messages. Yes. Okay. Like I said, Scorpio is greedy. We always get more. <laughs> more cops, Scorpios always pop out. But I'm going to take them all. Um, we have the... We have sun, vegetarian, autumn, love life, and easy does it. So what I'll say, I'm gonna read them anyway, cause I've said all this. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. Okay, high priestess, divine femme. I too am mother of a Scorpio son. You may have a son that's a Scorpio. You may be a Scorpio with a son, whatever son he is. This is saying that if you're worried about him in the direction he's taken, let him grow on his own accord. Intercede when it's dangerous, don't intervene when it's not, even if you don't like it. He's living and learning lessons that he must while he's young. Breaking generational curses, finding his own way. Maybe you weren't allowed to, but you're allowing him to. That's breaking a curse in itself. Spirit's saying, I got him. I got your baby boy, no matter what his age, he's okay. He's more than okay. He needs to explore the world on his own without mommy breastfeeding him. It's time to let it go. And I don't mean physically breastfeeding, you know what I mean? Metaphorically, holding him in the, your bosom so tight. Let him go. Let go and let God in to his life. You've done well. You set the seeds and give him a strong foundation. It's time to let him fly. That's specific to, for someone. I'm taking it as well. Next card was vegetarian. A new way of eating gives you more energy, great health, cl clarity, and stronger manifestation abilities. Eat better, Scorpio. It speaks for itself. Eat better. I'm not sure what you're eating, but you may be already. If you're not, eat better. Focus on your health. And what you put in is within, so without. Health in, health out. Healthy inside, healthy lifestyle. Autumn. In the fall season, everything comes together. And you reap wonderful harvest of abundance. We're in the fall right now. Ashe, ashe, ashe. We're in the fall season right now, Scorpio. This comes soon. Soon come. You ain't got to wait. Stability is around the corner. More than stability. It says, wonderful harvest of abundance. Is that your happy surprise, Scorpio, that I spoke of earlier? Are you about to hit the jackpot? Whether it be, play lotto, play the Powerball. Let me know if you win. Remember your girl. <laughs> Share a little bit of wealth, giving and receiving. <laughs> but yeah. Abundance is about to manifest in your life in ways you only imagined, you dreamed about. That dream, that new home, that new car, that new home, that new location, that new city, that new country, that new soulmate. Because wealth of abundance can come in a lot of ways, not just money, but I see money. I got money. Usher in, believe it, and receive it. Yes? Yes. Love life. What have we been talking about all this time? 
The basis of your question involves your romantic life, which is now changing for the better. I said earlier, you might be questioning a love. Past love, present love, take it for what it is. You may be questioning it. Spirit says, question it no more. Make a decision to walk away. New love wants to enter your life. Don't look back. Don't decide to stay stuck where you are. Decide to move. Decide to elevate. Decide to receive better. It's what you deserve. Yes. New love is waiting for you. Don't you want it? All you got to do is release the old and walk into the new. But you waiting for a scope. I'd be running if I was you. Easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything. Did I speak of Scorpio's in control? <sighs> Come through, spirit. Stop trying to so hard to control everything and all the doors will open for you. Step back. Get out of your OCD nature. <laughs> you can't control this one. It's being led by spirit. Get out of the driver's seat. Get into the passenger seat for a change and let spirit drive the wheel. Don't you want to just roll down the window and feel the breeze? Finally, you see what's around you for a change instead of focusing on the road ahead in one direction, one set vision. Get in the passenger seat. Roll down the window. Look around, explore the universe, and see all that you've been missing. Give up control. God is waiting for you to give it to, to him so he can fulfill all your desires and all your dreams. Or when your night comes in, your night of cups. And I know Nine of Cups is not a page of cups. I'm sorry. I know Nine of Cups is not a king of cups. Start small. Become friends first. Let them be your friend. Let them be your companion. Travel together. Read together. Learn together. Laugh together. Manifest your king. Yes? Yeah. Our last deck is the Ooh, Whispers of Love. As we take three cards from our Whispers of Love to close out this reading, Scorpio. What is in the what does Spirit have to say about love? Love of self, love of others, love of life. Thank you, Spirit. This has been a beautiful, amazing reading for my Scorpios. Can we have three decks? Three decks. Woo! Three cards from Whispers of Love. Close out our Scorpio reading from my High Priestess watching, who's surely feeling good about where her reading is going and her future, near future. We've got Autumn Fall. The one? No, okay. Now, you getting Scorpio too much. <laughs> okay. Three cards for, for our Scorpios. Whispers of love. More love. We have a lot of love already on the board. Whispers of love. But in fairness, I pull this full zodiac at the end. So, although we already know where love is going for Scorpios, Okay, Spirit is determined to give you more than three. It just keeps falling out. Sample, simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Are you being mean, Scorpio? Too aggressive? 
Scorpio says, tone it down, take it easy, sweeten up, get more bees with honey. And bees produce more honey. <laughs> Not about to sting. Somehow I thought that's your first thought. Who wants bees? We do. <laughs> take it easy. If you're angry, breathe. Step away. Reevaluate why you're feeling this way and go back in with softness in your heart. Act in love. Forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. You're so angry at a past love. It didn't go well. You were mistreated horribly because we know grief was on board. Forgive. Let go. Don't forget the lessons. They made you into a high priestess. Yes? They helped you elevate and ascend. But it's time to release the bitterness. The nostalgia. What was done to you. They are not you. We don't have another. We don't have a king, high priest, emperor. They're not you. You are the high priest. Walk in light and love and forgive. It's the, gift you give, it's the gift you give yourself. You'll manifest so much easier and quicker. Have patience. Love is patience and kind always. Only fools rush in. So when the loon love comes in, and it will come, have patience with your love and yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for the choices you made that led you to a relationship that you didn't deserve. It's meant to teach you, not punish you. It's meant to elevate you, not break you. Forgive and take your time and have patience with this new journey. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. I said earlier, feel your feelings. I said earlier, if you're afraid, feel it. Sit with it. Ingest it. Regurgitate it. Look at it. Evaluate it and release it. Ask God to take it away and transmute it into something positive. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. I just said that. Love is all around you. Love is all around you, Scorpio. Love is all around you. Spirit, spirits love you. God loves you. Your ancestors love you. You are favored. You are favored, beloved. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as your truth. You are love. Your love, therefore you are love. Be that. Be that. That's pretty cut and dry. Be love. Vibrate in love and watch that love, that vibration be matched. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. Consider the place, consider the part, consider the part you have in your relationships and how they manifest. Go deep within and consider your role and how your relationships begin to end. And be true to yourself. Make the necessary changes so that the next and final love can manifest correctly from the beginning. Speak your truth from the beginning. Don't hold back. Confirmation. Do it in love, but do it. Set your boundaries and your expectations. Don't place restrictions. And don't let those expectations be so far-fetched that no one can reach them. <laughs> be real. But be your authentic self. Don't, don't down yourself for love. Be your real self so they will know what they're giving. And they will give you what they can. 
And what they can't, you will know that too. Turn on your heart light. Reflect one on a time when you experience love. Go back to when you had the best love in your life, whether it be of a parent, for a child, for a pet, for a job, for a place. Remember how your heart felt at that very moment when love was the most beautiful love you ever experienced. You could feel it. You could almost smell it. And stay there. Stay right there. And don't you move. Because that's when you were at your best. Open to receiving. Shining. Love and light coming from your pores. Pores, P-O-R-E-S. Not the pores. <laughs> Stay there. Be that. God wants that. God liked you when you were that way. Because whoever is about to come is that. Don't run away from it. Because it's not familiar. It's familiar if you think on it. You were once that too. Match it. Equally. You want it. You need it. It's meant for you. You ask for it. You manifest it. That's, that's the only way it can come. You said, Spirit, I, I no longer want that. I want this. And this is about to be everything that should have been. So accept it. Believe it. You deserve it. You earned it. It didn't just come out of nowhere. You earned it. So... Receive it well, beloved. Thank you for coming to this reading, Scorpio. I love you. I wish you all the best in your new journey, your new exploration, your new love. <laughs> Hit me up. Let me know how I go and if you need any help. High Priestess, because even as High Priestess, we can always look for more support from like-minded individuals, which I am. Pen pals, lifting each other up. Hit me up. Description box is where you can reach me. I love you. Hi, Priestess, my sister, my brother, my femme energy. You will win. You will be victorious because you have what it takes. Use your intuition and your discernment. This time to manifest it. To be everything that you deserve it to be. As within, so without. As above, so below. And until we meet again, enjoy the rest of your beautiful Wednesday evening. Yes? I shame.